Just, just talk, just talk to me about kind of what, what the spring and now fall camp has been like, and now going into the season. I think it's fair to say expected to contribute fairly significantly on this team. You know, you're, you're the backup X receiver. I think that is backing up, back up with the uh, Jonah Turnerman right there. So just. What are kind of your feelings, I guess, as, as the season start, gets started and you, you have that load on you now? Uh, I'm really excited, like you said, coming from spring. I think just as a team, we've come a long way. I think we look really smooth in the passing game, and we're definitely taking shots downfield with myself and Jonah Trenneman. And so I'm excited to con contribute, and I'm really excited for the year and um, help this team out. And I think we're going to have a special year, and it's going to be exciting for BYU football fans. So excited for that. Really excited to contribute for sure. You, you're obviously not a completely new name. You played some last year, but uh, one reception for five yards, pretty nice five yards. <laughs> a lot of people were talking about it against Boise State. Uh, how, how important was spring football to leave your mark on this team on, and frankly, a very wide open wide receiver core, I think? Um, spring was good, uh, but even more than that, I think fall we really came around. I think in spring, um, we struggled a little bit as an offense. And then in fall, we just really kicked into gear and really um, turned things around. And um, with spring and fall, I think um, was a great opportunity for me and uh, Coach Kuhn and our coaches talk about the opportunities we get. They're not very many every day, but to capitalize on those. And I just focus on that, focus on the little things and being more consistent as a receiver. And um, I think I'm going to make my mark this year, so it's exciting. I, I mentioned to you a little bit before we started recording, um, but... The, there were like 60 something names on the, the depth chart um, this year. Different sets, different formations, different th that kind of thing. Because you obviously can't line up with 15 or 16 right. offensive players. Exactly. Like that. Is, does that just speak to, uh, and I'm obviously not asking you to give anything away too much, but does that just speak to maybe multiple kind of variations on this offense, different things that you can do, different mismatches that you can take advantage of, that kind of thing? Oh, absolutely. I think we're really going to focus on mismatches and taking advantage of those opportunities. We have so many guys on this team. We have big bodies um, who are really athletic, who can give us some great mismatches and um, two tight end sets, and we can go four receivers. We have a really, really athletic group, so we can, I think we can expose guys on the outside. And so, really, I think the offense is really just going to open up. And like you said, all those different sets are going to give teams different looks. Um, that's going to be really hard to prepare for. So it's really exciting. What, what's it like being one of those weapons for a quarterback like like uh, Tanner Tanner Mangum? Sorry, I, I need to say Tanner yeah. Mangum, I guess, in your case. <laughs> no, exactly. It's always confusing. But um, super exciting. Um, he's an incredible quarterback. And we've just been talking about all week. Everyone here is really excited and anxious for this first game and to get the season rolling. Is We have a lot to prove this year, and we're really excited. And it's been a long time waiting, but we've taken advantage of that time and really prepared ourselves. And I'm excited to be one of those weapons and really looking forward to the season. i got to ask this question. This might be a little bit cheesy, so don't laugh too hard. But have you, have you guys planned out already the first Tanner to Tanner uh, touchdown? <laughs> uh, Maybe we, a special celebration of some kind? Or? Uh, we have not. We've, we've talked about the plays, and we're um, both excited. Um, there's some uh, plays in this offense um, that are going to be exciting. and. Uh, we've talked about those and making some connections on those, but we haven't we haven't focused on the touchdown celebration yet. But uh, maybe we'll just uh, think of something in the moment and go with it. There are a lot of Tanners on this team, but you're the only one with the last name Tanner. So does that did that confuse you at all? Coming yeah, all the time. Um, <laughs> or do you have Tanner. a special nickname because of it? Uh, no, actually they haven't given me a nickname yet. They usually just stick with Bo Tanner, and they call Bo Hodge Bo, and they call Tanner Tanner. So. So you're, so you're both. I, I got the full name, yeah, that they got to say every time they call me in. But, yeah, it's a little confusing, but I think uh, we figured it out over here for sure. Coach, just give you a little bit of the mom treatment. Bo Tanner, Bo Tanner, get over here, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Hopefully I don't throw my middle name in there, but, no, it's good. Even better. Well, I'll get, I'll get you out of here, like, on, on this, and thanks for joining us for a couple of minutes here after practice. Um, but totally non-football related, you know, just, just uh, relax, no issues there. But what's your go-to takeout or your go-to restaurant? go-to food options in Utah County? Um, geez, that's tough. There's a lot of good places to eat in Utah County. Are you a taco guy, a burger guy, a barbecue guy? I, I love it all. I love Bam Bam's barbecue. I love barbecue. When it's late nights, I hit up Don Joaquim just over on Bulldog Boulevard. It's open till like 2 in the morning. Nothing like some tacos late at night. I like Cubbies too. So there's a good, there's some good unique places over here in Provo. Um, but I, I don't know. I like everything. For sure. For sure.